Hi everybody. Today we are going to do a project based off of the book, There Was an Old Monster. Have you ever heard the song, There Was an Old Lady, about this lady that kept swallowing strange things? She swallowed a fly, she swallowed a spider to catch the fly, she swallowed a bird to catch the spider to catch the fly. <laughs> well, this book is based off of that story. It's called, There Was an Old Monster. There was an old monster who swallowed a tick. I don't know why he swallowed the tick. Cause it made him feel sick. Next that old monster, he swallowed some ants. He took a big chance when he swallowed those ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch a tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a lizard, yanked open his gizzard, and he swallowed that lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants, because man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Next thing I know, he swallowed a bat. Can you imagine that? He swallowed a bat. He swallowed the bat to catch a lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants because man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. Then he swallowed the ants to catch a tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a jackal. I swear I heard him cackle when he swallowed that jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch a lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants because man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch, scritch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Oh no, what's he gonna swallow next? Then he went and swallowed a bear. You should have been there when he swallowed that bear. He swallowed the bear to catch a jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch a lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants because man, those ants still making him dance. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Now that old monster, he felt like he was dying. So the next thing he tried to swallow was a lion. And all of a sudden, there was a great roar. And that old monster was no more. Where is he? He's in the belly of the lion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. Scritchy scratch, scritch. Scritchy scratch. Hmm. If he would have just not eaten that tick in the beginning, he wouldn't have been in the lion's belly. <laughs> so you guys will have to find the other stories of the There Wasn't an Old Lady. They are very fun. So, Today, what you are going to do is draw a monster with a belly full of all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so your monster can be done any way you want. I'm going to do mine with a big open mouth. Because he, he has a belly full of all kinds of stuff.
Now, does your monster have to look like Mr. E's monster? Nope. It doesn't. Now, I want to give him a nice big belly, or her. You can make it a girl monster, so that I can draw things in its belly. Give it some claws. If you want to make it have tentacles like an octopus, you could do that. You decide. This is your picture. All right, I'm gonna put some spots on his hands and his legs since I put some on his face. That way it'll look like it all belongs together. And I'm gonna give him some big old toenails. <laughs> now I'm gonna draw a big oval inside his belly area so that we can put things in his belly. Because there was an old monster who swallowed. And you know what? We don't have to do what's in the story. We can make up our own. Hmm. What can our monster swallow? I think I'm going to make my monster swallow a ice cream cone. Now that's a yummy thing. We can put weird things and yummy things inside the monster's belly. Hmm, maybe I'll put a tire inside of his belly. Uh, maybe he thought the tire was a donut. <laughs> so there, he's got a tire inside his belly. What else? What should be in there? Hmm, how about a jump rope? Maybe he thought the jump rope was spaghetti. So there's a jump rope inside his belly. Ooh, I bet he was watching TV and he saw something that he really liked on a commercial. Maybe it was a commercial for Olive Garden or Subway or something. He's like, ooh, I want that. And he ate the TV. So there's the cord from the TV. But it won't be, the TV won't be on because it's not plugged in, right? <laughs> so we've got a TV, a jump rope, a tire, an ice cream cone. How about a Basketball. Maybe he thought it was an orange. <laughs> that is super silly. So I made a, a basketball. Well, his belly's getting kind of full, huh? What else could I put in there? How about a teddy bear? Maybe he thought it was a giant gummy bear. I like gummy bears. Do you like gummy bears? So we just see a little bit of the bear's head sticking out from the side. Hmm. Maybe I'll put a flower in there. Maybe he thought it smelled so good, he wanted to eat it. So there's a flower. I think that's pretty good. What about you? And then when we go to color, if you guys want to use markers, you can use markers. If you want to use crayons, you can use crayons. If you want to use colored pencils, it's up to you. You decide. All right. But we always want to take our time and do our best job when we color. No, no, Sloppy Joe. Plus, if we made Sloppy Joe, that monster will probably eat it, huh? <laughs> I'm going to make the handles of my jumper rope red, too. When I'm using colors, sometimes I think about where else do I want to put that color? And that way, I don't have to keep 
picking crayons up and putting crayons down. Hmm. Maybe I'll make his polka dots purple. That would be a good color. When you're doing objects that are small, slow yourself down and do your best to stay inside your lines. That will make your artwork look super duper awesome. Give purple eyelid. And if you want to draw a background, like wh where is your monster at? You can, you don't have to, you can just leave the background blank because really the monster is the star of this show and all the things that are in his belly. Now I do an open mouth black because I want it to kind of look like a cave, like it's dark inside. When you open your mouth, does a light bulb come on like a refrigerator? <laughs> no, it doesn't. So the inside of your mouth would be dark when you color it. It wouldn't be the same color as your tongue. You make it like a little cave. All right, well, I'm not gonna take the time to color my whole picture today because I know that you guys can do an awesome job coloring your picture. All right, hmm, I wonder how my song would go. There was an old monster, he swallowed a tire. I don't know why he swallowed that tire. I hope he doesn't expire. <laughs> there was an old monster, he swallowed a teddy bear. I don't know why he swallowed that teddy bear. I don't know. <laughs> but have fun creating your monster and all the crazy things that he ate. All right? Have a great day, artists. Bye.